In my last video, I built this, which is a tiny engine that runs off of the power of air. Mm, pretty fancy. The th crazy thing is that this engine not only is very efficient, but it also produces some serious power. So the obvious thing to do is engine swap it into some sort of vehicle. And what better thing to start off with than an RC car? Hello everyone, my name is Axel, and I like to build stuff. And before we start this video, I would really like to thank the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed as you guys make these projects very possible. And honestly, I don't want to dime from these projects, so your guys' support is really all I need. So thank you guys very much. And with that, let's get into the video. Well, before we can build the car, we first need to talk about the engine that will be powering it. And for that, I'll be using this, which is my four-stroke compressed air engine that I built in a previous video. In other words, it's just a tiny motorbike engine that runs off of air. That's super cool, right? And what makes it even cooler is the fact that this engine is powered almost nine times a second. Seriously, that is, that is crazy power for something this tiny. All right, sweet. Now you know what we're using for the car project. Let's start printing the car. Sweet, now with the car fully designed and printed, it's time to build it. Oh crap, okay. After I was done building the car, I had to test if this thing would even work. So here's the first test. 30 PSI, here we go. Okay, here we go. Look at that! It works! Sweet! So after that little test and seeing that the engine could actually power the car, I then printed some Ninja Flex tires as well as a little trailer to be able to hold the water bottle. And with that, the car is finished. Let's go out and take it for a real test. Alright, so first off, I've got the car out here, it's all hooked up. I'm going to do a push test, just to see really if the engine do really does anything. So here we go. Okay, so it made it about that far. Now, I'm gonna be doing this in an incremental test just to see. So I'm gonna start at 20 PSI and go all the way up to 70 PSI. So let's do that. There you go. Make sure the trailer is on. And here we go. Oh, there. there it goes. Yeah, it really does not have a lot of power. Which is, it's expected because it is a four stroke. But still. Here is 50 PSI. Come on, come on. No, darn it. So it did pretty okay that time. 50, it did quite well. Still had some juice. Here's 60 PSI. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come back. Come back. No. So that's pretty interesting. Whenever I let it go through a power stroke, let's see if I can find it on this camera. If it's moving at low enough pressure, it doesn't skip, but as soon as I put it through a power stroke, it like, it slips, It like it does a burnout. That's so weird. Alrighty, the big test. Will it do 90 PSI? 
That is 90 PSI. That is scary. Here we go. Three, two, one. Aha. Uh -huh. So I seem to be running into Tom Stanton's problem of it being too hard to open the inlet valve. So, now that we've found the optimum pressure, let's have a little bit of fun. Come on, old boy. Come on, go! Go! No! You freaking suck! Oh, frick. So, the air-powered car. Was it a fun project? Yes, of course it was. This cute little thing, it was my first time ever developing any cool like steering system or anything like that. It somewhat worked. I feel like this engine would be a lot better with a propeller, which let me know if I should do that in the future. I know a lot of you guys want a lawnmower, but I have some better projects for you guys. Like, come on. As fun of a little project as it was, and with everything, let's face it, it did not work very well. It did. Come on, go! Go! No! You freaking suck! Its power strokes were all out of whack. I feel like this cute little project right here was a good start to building air powered vehicles. In the future, let me know what, what else I should do. I am planning on doing some more things with four stroke engines, just not exactly, you know, this one. Now, what do I have planned for the future? Well, uh, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to be building one more air engine before I go into a bunch of viewer requested videos because I do need to catch up on those. Don't worry, I do read your comments and I do like them genuinely. Also, if you want to build this little car right here, I'll have links to everything you need to buy and the 3D printer files if you want to print this out yourself. I think that concludes the project with the inline, uh, with the one cylinder for now. Um, I will be building some more stuff in the future. Don't worry, it'll take a little while because, you know, school and life and stuff. And, uh, yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Also, before you leave, I have some really big projects coming up. So don't be offended if your video idea is a little pushed behind because there are some big things coming up and I can't wait to share it with you guys. See ya.